So if you are an Arsenal supporter, today was, uh, I guess, a, a fairly big day, I guess you can say, if you follow the academy and everything that's going on with the U23s and the um, younger ranks of the Arsenal team. So um, Falar and Balogun has signed a new four-year contract with Arsenal that's going to keep him at the club until 2025. So his contract was obviously, since it's a four-year contract, was running out um, 2021. So this uh summer so for those who don't know uh, a lot of suitors for him uh Bayer Leverkusen uh Stuttgart um Chelsea Brentford I believe which is Brentford is in the second tier uh of English football they were interested in him uh highly touted player good goal scoring record when it comes to um the youth the youth levels at Arsenal 61 goals 15 assists in 93 matches which is really damn good um, for a 19-year-old. Uh, um, I think this signing was very important for Arsenal because the team is kind of um, headed south. A lot of uncertainty with a lot of players on this club. Um, the strikers or the center forwards this season have not performed. Lacazette has 13 goals this season. Uh, Bamiyang has 14. You know, we're so used to uh, Bamiyang and we've been kind of spoiled. We're used to seeing 20 plus goals every season. And this season was a little bit of a drop off for him with 14, uh, albeit he's had a lot of uh, family issues um, in terms of health. Uh, and he just hasn't looked like himself ever since he came back um, from those issues that I just uh, spoke about. Uh, so he's having a little bit of a tough season. But when you look at um, the Arsenal center forwards, um, you know, they're not getting any younger. Aubameyang is 31, I believe. Lacazette thir turns 30 this summer so they're not getting any younger uh arsenal probably looking to go a little bit younger if you believe in what we've been hearing uh with gabriel martinelli being converted into uh, a center forward as well he was kind of like a wing player last season and you know a lot of the fans were hyped about martinelli because um he's just uh he's a ball of energy so to say he's scored some big goals for us arsenal even though he's only been here i guess now a year and a half almost two seasons but he's had a lot of injuries in that time. And a lot of fans love Martinelli. There's not much that you can um, hate in this kid. He gives it all when he's on the pitch. And, you know, now you sign Balogun. So um, I like this signing uh, most because it pushes the other center forwards to either get their act together or, you know, they could very well be sold. And with the signing of Balogun, I think that Lacazette could be on his way out this summer we've heard uh Sevilla being interested some rumors about Roma you know Ed and Jack was getting up there in age uh there's been some talks with Atletico Madrid I believe uh Madrid actually was in the running for Lacazette when he was coming out of Lyon if I remember correctly that was actually quite a bit ago four or five seasons ago if not longer uh so I'm, I think Atletico was in the running for him back then as well um and with his work rate I think it kind of fits into with what um Atletico is trying to do um but mostly, yeah, I, I just think this is going to push Aubameyang to be better next season. And with Martinelli and Balogun coming up, you know, you have two guys who can push him for that starting spot. Um, I'm just not going to count in Lacazette for next season just because of what I just mentioned. I think he's going to go this summer uh, with just a year left on his contract. Um, so let's assume that he's gone. And now you have three center forwards basically pushing Aubameyang um, for that starting spot. And like I said, he's not getting much younger and um, could spell the end for uh, Eddie and Kedia as well because he's been on the bench. He just doesn't see much of the pitch anymore. Uh, and I think Arsenal are going to move on from him as well. But you have um, two strike up-and-coming strikers in Martinelli and, and Balogun. And there's a, I think there's quite a bit of pressure now on Balogun and Martinelli to perform. This could also mean maybe a shift in formation, maybe two at the top or like a second striker or something like that uh, with Arteta. And it's going to be interesting to see if he stays as well with how Arsenal played yesterday, Slavia Prague, and if they get by Slavia Prague. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of an interesting day for Arsenal. Like I said, it, it, this is big for the club because um, this could have gone south. If your best youth player leaves, then it kind of, you know, even though he just is a youth player, um, other players look at it as a negative, And then maybe you don't get some of the guys that you were uh, in the running for to get in the summer. So let me know what you guys think below in the comments about the uh, signing in Balogun staying with Arsenal.